And let's start with the first question. Let's start with the first question. Ano po pa pinaggagawa niyo for the past decade? I, I immersed myself in the private sector. I joined the corporate world, uh, mostly as an independent director of uh, some firms and not an executive chairperson. And most of all, it was a learning experience, actually. I, I, I learned a lot from the corporate world, and I saw how the things were done on the other side of the fence. Because before that, I spent about 20, 25 years in government. So I saw now how uh, the private sector concerns are run and actually uh, how to be on the other side of the regulatory fence. Okay, Mr. So, Chidori. Yeah, I, I learned a lot. I, I want to pursue this uh, more. You said you know, you've, been, you've been out of uh, public service or government at least uh, for a long time. You've had time to appreciate it uh, from the private sector's uh, view, if not even civil society. Yeah. What are the key takeaways there from the private, from the private sector? What have you learned? The, the, the private sector runs things more efficiently because it can reshape its organization as the need be. Hmm. Business process continuity is a practice, a mantra required by the regulators of which sometimes we are ahead of the regulators. And another thing that I have to point out uh, with the uh, West Philippine Sea thing is we have to harden our digital infrastructure. The digital economy <laughs> and uh, pay less payment systems and other uh, digital hardware needs to be monitored, invested in, and uh, hardened. The, uh, if you're talking about conflict, that is the worst kind of conflict. Apparently, even the White House in the United States the other day came out with a warning urging U.S. companies that spend billions in hardening their digital infrastructure to protect it. And that is a vulnerability of the Philippines that we need to begin to harden. And connectivity is really very, very important too. So uh, I, I believe uh, that is one point of an agenda that must be thoroughly uh, explored. The hardening of our digital infrastructure uh, and training of our own people. And I also believe that our country has to reform its educational system. We, we really have to invest a lot on not merely degrees to satisfy promotion systems, not merely degrees to satisfy the job market, but other degrees that are funded by research and development and degrees in the humanities, history, so we can have good diplomacy, diplomats, and other non-technical people, of which a, a well-rounded country needs. So the educational system is really important to focus on, and it starts to with basic education.